Hello everyone, this is the video lecture for Calculus 3, section 15.4, Center of Mass. So there's some pretty heavy formulas before we go into this. Uh, I actually think they're better than the Calculus 2 formulas, personally, um, but they require double integrals. So, mass, little m, mass, um, is equal to double integral of rho dA. So if you didn't catch that, that's rho, kind of like row, row, row your boat. <laughs> um, but it's it's the R letter in Greek, essentially, rho. So double integral of rho dA, that's actually your density, your density. And sometimes they'll give you variable density, sometimes that's constant. Uh, some more stuff, we got M sub X, this is the moment about the x-axis, moment about the x-axis, this will be important for our um, math here in a second, it's double integral y, uh, rho dA, there you go. Uh, so we just throw a, a y in there, and for m sub y, yet again, the moment about the y-axis, you now throw an x in there, x rho dA. Um, I know it's kind of weird to have them backwards, like moment of x has a y and all that kind of stuff. Um, it just has to do with the distance from that axis being y, uh, your y height. Like if you have a x-axis, what's the height from that is your y value. Okay, so then going back my uh, x bar, again, it's, it's the center of mass for the x, uh, but I'm just going to just leave it x bar. So this is center of mass, finally. Center of mass. So x bar is technically then uh, my over little m, and y bar is mx over little m. I'm saying that again, that's x bar, x bar, because it has a little bar on the top. Uh, so those are your formulas. To be more succinct about it, like all at once, here we go. Double integral x rho dA divided by double integral of rho dA. That's for my x's. And then for my y's, double integral y rho dA divided by double integral of rho dA. There you go x bar, y bar. If you zoom out and understand, you see that you got your x's with x's and y's with y's in the end. I know that it looks like we mixed them up along the way twice. It's like it you threw a y in with the x and then it turns out that you wanted the x in the end anyways. It's kind of strange. So what I've often done, me just personally, is I just go right to the formulas here a lot of times. I won't always do that here in this lecture. But whenever I'm doing math for myself, I often just, you know, skip to these two formulas and keep moving. So the row is, um, it's going to be the same. And you might think, oh, the rows cancel out. Mm, yeah, not really. Um, I mean, sometimes, but not always. It, it might interact with the X. I would not cancel them immediately for sure. That's, that's one thing for sure. Uh, a lot of times the rows have K in them, blah, 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 K. Uh, they use lowercase K, but either way. Um, that K, when you put a K here and a K there, you'll have a K in the front, K in the front, and they will cancel out, okay? So I'll, if you are given some kind of proportionality constant or something, K, uh, then, yeah, it will cancel in the end, almost always. But when you're dealing with little m, you'll have blah, 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 K in it. It's just that when you go to X bar, it won't have the K in it. No K. The K would have been canceled out by then, okay? Um, so I'm just kind of telling you ahead of time, look out for the way answers are presented, you know? Okay, let's just go... Oh, one last thing. Um, I don't think... I didn't see any problems that actually involve this on the homework, but you could use a summation in place of an integral sign. Uh, essentially, when I'm saying this integral, integral, I'm thinking like summation of stuff. This goes way back to calculus 2 whenever we're trying to find center of mass there, uh, which is more like numeric, I guess you can say. Like, here's a point, here's a point, here's a point. 
Uh, here we're going to go all calculus C, so you could do this, but again, I didn't see any on this homework. Okay, so 15,405. I have uh, D is equal to, and it has X from 1 to 7, and I have a Y from 1 to 4, and they say that my row is equal to KY squared. So it's a variable, it's a variable density, okay? Uh, that's going to be important as we keep going. So my goal here is essentially find little m, and then I'm going to find m sub y, then I'm going to find m sub x, uh, and then I'm going to go and use those to go and find my center of mass, all these to compute this. Again, you could just do it all at once, but I think this is the proper way to do it. So little m, here we go. I'm going to do double integral. Um, let's do dy dx, so 1 to 4, 1 to 7 of my row, so ky squared dy dx. So I'm going to, of course, do my first integral here uh, with the y, which will, uh, first off, let's bring that k out to the front. That's going to be make it easier. So y cubed over 3 from 1 to 4 dx. Uh, plug in the 4, plug in the 1. What I often forgot was plugging in the 1, and it got me in trouble a lot of times. So really be careful about that, okay? Uh, 4 cubed, so 4 times 4 times 4, I believe is 64. I'm just triple checking here, yep. 64 over 3, and then minus 1 third, and then dx. So I'm plugging those both in, and we get that. Um, so that's now, as a number, a constant, I can pull that out also. 63 over 3k, now integral from 1 to 7 dx. Notice there's no x's there, so you just basically make an x, then you start tossing those things in. Uh, at this point, I'm not going to worry about your math skills there. Um, so that's what, 6 times this stuff, some of it cancels, 126k is my answer for little m. We are not done. We got a lot more to go. M sub y is now going to have x's involved, so double integral with an x, and then of course you still got that row, so ky squared dy dx, same as last time essentially. But notice that uh, when I do my integral at the very end, I'm going to have something different. So first off, I'm going to do the same integral here, I'll just have an x also attached there uh, from 1 to 4 dy. And so uh, when you take that as a number, you'll get the same thing in the front as last time. Now you're just left with an x. Notice that I skipped a lot of steps here because we had already done those steps. That's one of the good points about this is that when you've already done little m, going back and doing capital M anything uh, is very similar a lot of times. Not, not always, but a, very similar a lot of times, and it helps out. Uh, with the math. So then this answer is going to be a bit more complicated than last time uh, since we got x squared over 2 from 1 to 7. Remember to plug that 1 in. It's one of the things that I always forget to do. So uh, 49 over 2 minus 1 over 2. Uh, you go and do all the math and you'll get 504k. Now notice I squared this versus circled that because they want little m but I don't think they want m sub y and m sub x. I don't think they do. Um, often it's just going to be little m and then x bar, y bar, and then you're done. So double integral, now with a y in there, same density. Now notice when I'm going to do my integral this time, I have a y cubed to start with, which does definitely throw off the rest of my integral, which is, it's not bad, it's just going to be different, you know. Uh, so it is y cubed, so now I'm going to have y to the 4th over 4 from 1 to 4 uh, dx. Plugging in the 4, plugging in the 1. Um, 4 to the 4th, 256. Oh, and then divide by 4 again, because they're going to cancel, of course. It's 64, uh, 64 there. Uh, and then when you plug in a 1, you get minus a 4th. So that's a little different there. Um, so, and then dx. This is going to be just a number. You can toss it out to the front with that k. 
Uh, so let me go ahead and find that in the calculator. Always use the math to frack if you can. It really, really helps. So I've got 255 over 4k, uh, integral 1 to 7 dx. Yet again, you can see it's pretty simple uh, to get this one. It's just going to be 7 minus 1, which is a 6, combines with the stuff here to make a six, 765 over 2 uh, k. So that's your m sub x. So finally, the answers they're actually waiting for, uh, x bar is going to be m sub y over little m. Go ahead and list these out. So I got a 504k over the 126k. And like I said earlier, your k's should cancel. You should actually end up with a number. So I did this in the calculator. It ends up being a 4 of all things. Um, m sub x over m. Same kind of process. 765 over 2k. Then divided by the 126k. Again, the k's cancel. Do this in the calculator and uh, math to frac. I got uh, 85 over 28. So there you go. So your final answer, the way it's stylized in WebAssign, uh, will be something kind of like this here: 4 comma 85 over 28 in parentheses there. Okay, let's do some more. 154007. So this one says that D is going to be a triangular region given these points 0 0 2 1 0 3 and they even give me rho is equal to 6 times x plus y um first off we need to know where this is like you know what does this triangle region look like so i got 0 0 i got 2 comma 1 and then i also got 0 comma 3 and so trying to draw nice straight lines here it's all this region in here okay what this whenever you're doing like da here like dy dx kind of stuff what i see this for me as is a line and another line and what i had done on my paper at least is i designated them i said oh well this is line one and this is line two and i went and found those out um i think that's a, probably a good idea so let's go and do that right quick. So line one, this guy right here. I think the way I writ wrote this, though, is going to be a little deceiving in the end, but I still want to keep with it. I think it's a good procedure. Just kind of hold on tight. Here we go. So I want to find the slope here. Uh, y2 minus, I'm using these two points, by the way. Y2 minus Y1 uh, over X2 minus X1. Um, so basically it should be positive half is what I'm thinking. And you can see the y-intercept is at 0, so y equals half x. I'm going to circle that. L2, find my slope. Notice that it's going down like this, so I'm going to definitely have a negative. I'm going to be using these two points right there, the two outer... No, 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 sorry, sorry. I'm using these two points here. Um, yeah, those two. So then <clears throat> 3 minus 1, uh, 0 minus the 2. 2 over a negative 2 is a negative 1 slope, and... You can see that I'm intercepting at 3. My y-intercept is at 3. So there you go. Now, the thing is, is that we need to talk about top, uh, I'm sorry, top and bottom. So this is on the top, this is on the bottom. And so when I start doing my integral, it's going to be this L2, essentially, that goes up top. So just kind of hang on tight. Here we go. Uh, my... And if you did mix them, let's say, I, st I believe you'll just get a negative answer instead of a positive. But anyways, here we go. So um, center mass, I'm sorry, just your mass here. Uh, when I start doing my integral, my top is going to be L2, so negative x plus 3. And the uh, one on the bottom is the half x. X-wise, if you're looking here, X-wise, I'm going from 0 to 2. 0 to 2. Um, and then, of course, we need our uh, density here, 6x plus y, dy, dx. There we go. Phew. Now that we set it up, let's go and do the math. So, uh, first off, this 6 can come out to the front. I think that's probably a smart move. Um, I want to integrate this in terms of y. <clears throat> Sorry about that. So, um, integrate in terms of y, I'm going to say there's add a y there, y squared over 2. 
from 1 half x to negative x plus 3 dx. Um, this is going to get really crazy real fast. Plug these into your y's. Plug these into your y's. Remember to subtract between them. Here we go. 0 to 2. <clears throat> I got here x times negative x plus 3 plus 1 half negative x plus 3 squared. And now minus, the next things are going to be minus with this guy, x times 1 half x. And then again, minus, I don't want to distribute, I just want to automatically distribute essentially, um, 1 half times 1 half x squared. Phew, dx. So we just plugged them all in, there we go. This thing is crazy. No one's expecting you to go and actually foil that stuff out. I mean, if you want to, it's fine. It's not too bad in the end, but uh, to simplify that is definitely going to take some time. That, <clears throat> frankly, I'm not going to do with you. So if you want to do that, it's fine, but I'm going to say, hey, go to your calculator, and you get 36 out of it. That's pretty easy, right? How do I do the calculator with this big thing? Uh, well, big, small, doesn't really matter. I am using a TI-83 or 84 for something like that. Uh, so, or a Casio would be fine as well. Uh, make sure you go to like the math menu and look for your integral. Uh, you can just type it straight in just like you see it there, okay? So I recommend using that occasionally. A lot of times I don't have to, but when it's really long and complicated, I just think it's a time saver, okay? We're not doing anything crazy here. Just going to do a, some basic uh, graphing calculator stuff. Okay. Like, if it's on a test, you're going to have to do it the long way. <laughs> Just wanted to go ahead and point that out on the recording. Uh, but the graphing calculator is um, is helpful. Okay. Uh, so for the next one, I have uh, the same thing, 6x plus y, cool. Uh, and then uh, I need to go and put my new y Oh, yeah, yeah, my, my X in there. It's Y, so I'm going to have an X in there. <laughs> Personally, I don't like how it's always mixing up. I don't like doing that, but I'm going to follow the book. I think it's going to be better in the end. <clears throat> Notice this X is not going to really change anything on the first integral. So the 6 can come out, and that is a handy thing. Um, Hold on a quick. Hold on, hold on. Oh, I see. Whenever I was doing my notes, I kept the 6 inside. I didn't keep it on the outside like that. Either way, it's fine. Okay, we're good. Um, but don't take the X and th toss it out. You're still going to have to use it here eventually. Uh, I would say distribute immediately like this, and then start integral. So uh, X squared Y. Here you're going to have an X, and then well, it's actually going to be that half thing again, right? Yeah, half X, and then Y squared. This guy turns to a Y squared over 2, essentially. Uh, all of this from 1 half x to the negative x plus 3 dx. Toss all this stuff into your y's yet again. All this stuff as well. So here we go. 6 integrals 0 to 2 of... <clears throat> make it look long. Here we go. x squared, negative x plus 3, 1 half x, uh, negative x plus 3 all squared minus, now for the next one, uh, we got x squared times the 1 half x, again minus 1 half x, 1 half x uh, squared dx. Again, I'm going to recommend calculator for this one in particular, and I got 27. I mean, look at how cool these come out. These are really good problems. Um, I'm happy when they come out to a whole number. You're like, yeah, we got something good here. It has to be right. <laughs> um, not always, of course. I'm just saying. It's, it's a good thing to have that. Now again, I'm going to put a y in there. dy dx. Notice that my integral is going to change significantly whenever I distribute my y into this and still do my integral. So I had an x, and now I have an uh, a y next to it. So it's going to be 1 half xy squared. No, it's already squared, so then it's going to be cubed over 3. And all this from 1 half x to the negative x plus 3 dx. 
Go ahead and plug them all in, just like last time. So one half x and then negative x plus three squared plus one third negative x plus three cubed. And then of course minusing the next one's one half x, one half x squared, and then minus again the one third uh, one half x cubed d x dx yet again calculator's your friend i got 54 out of this thing so there you go so finally let's go back to what we're looking for x bar y bar and again notice that there's parentheses on the outside you're just literally putting your answers with a comma between them uh, so just as a quick thing you got 27 uh, over to 36 right yeah 27 over to the 36, which will reduce. And then here we got 54 over the 36 again. They they reduce, and I don't I don't really care. I mean, you don't really need to reduce them for WebAssign. Next one, 154013. So this one is a disk, x squared plus y squared less than or equal to 36. And they say in the words... They want it in the first quadrant. Now, often, personally, I don't read so much. I just look for the numbers. And it's just, you know, as math people, when we're here in Calculus 3, we tend to kind of just ignore a lot of the information that we don't need. We just kind of skip to the numbers. Uh, definitely read. Make sure you're reading it because they said in words, first quadrant. And if you didn't get that, you get a whole different answer here. Um, and so some more words in this particular one is they say the density is proportional to the distance from the x-axis. Again, in words. And you're like, what is that supposed to be? Well, let me tell you. It's rho is equal to ky. That's it. Proportional to the distance from the x-axis. We had kind of already talked about this earlier at the very beginning. The distance, the height from that axis is literally your y value. So that's your distance from it. Okay, so with that in hand, uh, what is it supposed to look like? Well, first quadrant here, if I can draw that a little bit better. Uh, my radius is six, if you can see up there that answer there. First quadrant, there you go. So my little m should be 0 to 6 for x, and this is where it gets interesting, 0 to the square root of 36 minus x squared. Um, ky dy dx. Now you might be wondering where I got this 36 square rooty stuff, right? Um, basically, I'm seeing that as a, as a circle. Well, you can see it right there. I want to solve for y, so I move this over and square root it, and essentially that's how I got uh, y is equal to this stuff right here. Now, notice that normally when you have a square root, you plus and minus, but we look at the graph and we see we only need the positive side, uh, and I'm stopping at zero. So that's my bottom. This is my top, essentially, top and bottom. Okay. So when I start integrating, here we go. Zero to six. Integrate this guy. Well, I guess the k can come out y squared over two from zero to this big square root thing, dx. The zero, of course, will cancel and go away. Um, the one half can come out to the front, so that's going to be a little handy. And so when you toss in the square and the square root, they would cancel one another out, leaving you with this guy here, which is pretty easy at this point. Um, I just simply say, oh, okay. I mean, again, could you just use a calculator at this point if you wanted to? Yeah, uh, but I'm preparing us for not having that. Like every time at least. I mean, yeah, it's good to definitely use. Um, cubed over 3 from 0 to 6. Uh, toss in the 6. 0 is going to go ahead and be canceled. Uh, so k over 2 times 36 times 6 minus 6 cubed over 3. And, of course, you want a calculator for that eventually. 72... Uh, I didn't write it on my notes here, but it's K, 72K. Again, in the end, really, you don't need Ks. If they ask for little m, 
yeah, you got to put little K in there. You got it. You have to. But if they're just saying, hey, give me the answers, uh, X bar, Y bar, then you do not even have to really use the Ks because you know they're going to cancel in the end. Okay, let's keep going. M sub Y. So now I got integral from 0 to 6, integral from 0 to the square root of 36 minus X squared of K, and then it would be Y, but it's also XY, dy dx. Notice here that your X um, comes from the uh, M sub Y business, okay? Again, they're opposite letters. So when you first integral, uh, integrate, nothing really is going to change there. The K can come out to the front. And then you got your y squared over 2 again. Put an x in the front, I guess, from 0 to a square root here. Toss it in. The 1 half comes to the front. We've already talked about that. Um, 0 to 2. And then again, your square root and square cancel. To keep going, you would have um, integral. You can distribute your x to make it a little bit better looking. Of course, 36x minus x cubed dx. And so then when you're integrating, I'm going to say uh, 36x squared over 2 minus x to the fourth over 4 from uh, 0 to 2. The 0 is going to make things cancel. Plug in a 2 uh, into all that, blah, blah, blah. And I get 162k. M sub X, almost there. You can see how long these problems are. So can you guess how many problems are on the homework? Not that much. <laughs> now it's going to be Y squared, because again, we had a Y, and then we have an extra Y for the MX part. My integral here is going to definitely change uh, at the very beginning. So I'm going to have that K come to the front, and now it's Y cubed over 3 from 0 to the square root thing. The thing is, with this uh, square root and cube business, I'm going to go ahead and toss the 3 out as well, uh, is that they don't cancel so nicely. What I'm going to show you is that they actually make a 3 halves power um, dx. So really, with the 3 halves power and this stuff here, notice that there's no x's on the outside. Like, looking at this integral here, it's honestly not an easy one. Uh, you can do some trig stuff. Maybe I'm not, you know, there's there's definitely a formula somewhere. Uh, but in the end, what happens is that I, I used a calculator, and I want to show you something kind of silly with this particular problem. I got 254.4690049. Okay, great. And I looked at the answer ahead of time, and, and they had a pi in it somewhere. And I was like, well, I don't really know. So what I did is I took that answer and I divided by pi in my calculator, and sure enough, what this really ends up being is 81 pi. You divide by the pi, and I got 81 straight up, and I was like, oh, well, that makes it easy. So uh, 81 pi is your answer for mx. All right, last bit here. My uh, center of mass now is going to be, again, my over little m, mx over little m, so my MY, I had uh, 162K over the 72K. The Ks are going to cancel. Uh, oh, sorry, this probably has a K in there too. <laughs> 81 pi K over the 72K. Again, the Ks cancel. And there's your answer. I'm just going to give you the short version. It's 9 fourths and then 9 pi over 8. Okay, so there's, there's your answer. All right. Um, Triple check in here that I did everything there. Yep. Okay. I have one last question I'm going to show you here in this section. Uh, just because it's kind of weird. Um, it's not hard. It's just kind of different than the rest. So uh, 15, 4, 19. They give me a D that's uh, X 1 to 5. My Y is 1 to 4. And rho is equal to ky squared. This looks very similar to what we've done earlier. But in this particular case, they're looking for i sub x uh, and i sub y and then i not or i sub 0 or something like that, i 
um, origin, whatever. You, I don't know. Uh, these eyes are moments of inertia, um, I believe. I don't really have a lot of. I don't go into the term so much, uh, but we got moments uh, earlier. These are now with inertia I. Okay, so again, uh, let me go ahead and give you these formulas. They don't really change a lot. So this is the double integral uh, over region uh, y squared rho dA, double integral over region x squared rho dA. And then this guy here actually is kind of funny. It's I sub x plus I sub y. You just add them, and then you, there's your final answer. So here we go. I'm trying to find I sub x, double integral. I'm going to go 1 to 4. 1 to 5 of uh, my y squared times this stuff. So y squared times ky squared dy dx. Notice that the k can come out. That's easy enough. But then I have actually y to the 4th. And so when you integrate, it's y to the 5th over 5 from 1 to 4. Again, make sure that you're plugging in those 1s down there. Oops, this is a dx now. Make sure you're plugging in the 1s down there at the bottom. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and toss out the one-fifth as well. Makes it a little bit easier. And so uh, four to the fifth. And then 1,024. And then when you toss in the one, you'll get uh, a one. Because, again, I just threw the five on the outside there. Uh, dx. Now, this is a constant. You can also toss to the front. 1023 over 5k. Uh, integral 1 to 5, uh, dx. Again, notice that I'm saying integral dx. Well, that's 1, so you add an x in there, and you toss in your numbers pretty easy at this point. So 5 minus 1, essentially. That's a 4. You multiply it there, and I got 4092k all over 5. So that is my first answer. This is actually something they're wanting with the k in there. Okay, I sub y, 1 to 5, 1 to 4. This is now x squared, ky squared, d, uh, y dx. My first integral definitely has changed. Uh, notice that the k can come out to the front, so that's easy. y squared here uh, will go to y cubed over 3 from 1 to 4 dx. Um, you can toss that one-third out to the front, I guess. When I toss in the four and all that stuff, remember that it's four cubed now. So 64 and then minus the one. So 63, essentially, which can come out to the front again. 63k over three, integral one to five x squared dx. So that as you know, goes to x cubed over 3 from 1 to 5. Uh, the 3s can come out to the front, I suppose. I mean, I did a lot of this on the calculator, uh, honestly. Uh, not that you have to use a graphing calculator, uh, but it was just easier for me to, like, at this point, I would just do all this with the 5 and the 1 in the calculator, and it makes it a little bit faster. Uh, not required, though. We got a 125, which I probably should have known, minus the 1. Now you do all the numbers, and I got 868k. And so finally, I not I sub 0, is going to be this ix plus iy. I simply add these guys together. Actually, I'll just go ahead and give you the answer, since that's super easy to do in the calculator at least. Uh, 8432k all over 5. There you go. All right, that's the end of that section. Thank you very much. Have a great day.